Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I am sharing with you all of our family subjects for the upcoming school year. Okay, so this video is in collaboration with Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. I will link their channels and the playlist down below so you guys can check out all the other ladies that are participating. So if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am so glad you're here. Okay guys, family subjects. I feel like this has been the hardest one too narrow down some choices were super easy and some were super duper hard so i'm going to start with morning work morning work for us is something that we use with the kind kingdom last year and this year i decided to go with something else for our history science and all of that so we are using brighter day presses morning work volume one i think that's what it's called <laughs> Um, it is going to incorporate, let me just pull it up on my phone. It incorporates Bible and devotional, prayer prompt, scripture memory, hymn study, the New City Catechism memory work, composer study, artist study, poetry, and read aloud suggestions. And I also forgot that I purchased the copy work. So I told you guys in my last video that I actually have a cursive workbook for my younger son, um, but I also purchased copy work for my eldest and my younger son. So I purchased a print and a cursive. So we will see where we get with all of that, but I am excited to use that. I think that us learning him and artist studies and everything like that was one of the best parts of our homeschool year last year um, with the kind kingdom it was so much fun my boys really enjoyed the painting and the art and even my you know daughter who was two and three she really enjoyed the hymns <laughs> so um, it, it was such a blessing last year to get to do all of that together and I really am looking forward to having just that intentional um, time together every single morning so when it comes to history <laughs> I I'm all over the place right so I get we all get kind of bored when it comes to things so this is what we're starting the year with out with we actually started this back in march i think um when we finished up the kind kingdom we finished it up a little bit early we didn't finish it all the way we got to like week 27 or 28 or something like that and just decided to jump into this so what we are using this year is biblio plan now i know what you're thinking kelsey everybody on youtube uses biblio plan and you're right which is why i was so interested in biblio plan and my best friend is doing biblio, bi 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 biblio plan as well and she actually owned this and i got to look through it and i was like holy cow it's so awesome so just look at this you guys i mean it is my dream come true there are so many different spines that you can have you can even have story of the world which is my favorite history curriculum but story of the world is a little more neutral a little more secular so um, i wanted to incorporate the bible because you can't learn about ancient times and biblical times without the bible right so i have just loved that this incorporates different bible verses that you're doing to correlate with your history um, I love that it includes so many different literature, reading studies, it has family read aloud suggestions, writing ideas, it has hands on activities. My um, son has been doing the hands on Asia, so he's been doing his own research papers every, or his own research, uh, his own research, okay, his own research every week, and that has just been phenomenal for him um we do we add to our timeline it also tells you ways that you can incorporate the ancient civilizations from even more history pockets which we've been loving so it basically has every like video suggestions it has a craft book that we have um they do have their own like textbook but it kind of reads more like a textbook and so we actually prefer a story of the world um i also have they have their map work, which I really have been enjoying more than the story of the world map work. It goes a little bit more in depth and I think is a little bit more challenging for my children. Um, I also got the hands-on ancient history book, which has um, different projects and things like that. 
but I still find that I prefer the projects from Story of the World. So, it's it's been great. It's very much like when I used to create my own unit studies, and I feel like it just gives me so many different ideas. It gives me like choices. So one week we might do this, this, and this, and the next week we might do this and that. So it has just been great. I don't know that we'll use it for every year of history. We might just stick with Story of the World for those, but for this year it's been really great. And also I don't know that we'll, <laughs> I don't know if we'll do it the whole entire year. Cause like I said, we get kind of bored staying in one area of history. So um, I don't know if we'll jump around what we'll do, but for now, that is what we're doing. When it comes to science, this one was something that was really tricky for me. I have a seventh grader now. I need to start thinking about high school science and college science and all of these different things. And honestly, I just need to use up what I have. I don't feel like starting him in, I just don't feel like he's ready for something like Apologia 7th grade general science. I just, I looked into Science Shepherd and that was actually something that he and his brother could do together and it's video based and it just seems really great in general. It's something I've been looking at for several years now, but I just decided that we really, I really just want to use up what we have. So we have several years of Heart of Dakota. You guys know that I love their science. I have several years of Heart of Dakota teacher's manuals and the science books that go with them and the free sheets that you can print from their Facebook group. And I feel like those are very much age appropriate for a seventh grader. And so I think that that is probably something we're going to do. I think we're probably going to start with, um, the Apologia, I think it's it's the animal book, the land animals book. Um, so I think we're gonna start with that. I think that we can also do, um, I have purchased a Rabbit Trails Homeschool homesteading unit, which I'm very excited about. We started using, um, I don't know, there hit a point in the Kind Kingdom where we just were not feeling the science and I went ahead and purchased a Rabbit Trails um, paleontology unit and we have been loving that. And so um, I'm excited to do the homesteading one. There are just so many different things that we have. We have Sassafras science, which is kind of like story of the world, but science. And so I think that we are just going to kind of just bounce around, do unit type studies for science this year and just use up a lot of the resources that we already have. And I'm excited for that. And then maybe next year for eighth grade, we can start to get a little bit more independent for him. And then by then, oh my gosh, I'll almost have another child starting school. That's crazy to think about. <laughs> But I think that is everything for our family subjects. Our children are also going to be doing enrichment this year. We are not joining our enrichment group again next year. Um, it's just too far of a drive, too expensive. We found some different alternatives. I think they're going to be joining 4-H. Um, I think that they're interested in a, um, like a STEM type of class. So I'm excited for them to do 4-H. They are doing a local class. It's only run six weeks, so we don't have to commit to a whole school year, yay. Um, so there is a homeschool music class, a homeschool art class. They have it for elementary, they have it for middle school. They have piano lessons there, all that kind of stuff. There are various things that pop up through the library. My son did a sewing class recently and just absolutely love that. So that is just kind of what we are doing for our family subjects. Lots of reading together, Bible time, all the good stuff. And we have lots of camping trips planned coming up as well, which we're really excited about. So just really looking forward to the upcoming school year. I'm looking forward to having a bit of a break. Uh, so 
think that's it for me guys when it comes to our family subjects i'm so sure i forgot something i always do um i will leave all of the information down in the description box below as well as a link to that playlist if you are not subscribed yet i would love it if you would subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye